Hey y'all, it's your girl Tash 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 Shana, and I'm back with another inspirational video so we can change energies and raise frequencies to help make this world a better place. To help make our world a better place. To help make this world a better place. <laughs> Today's video is about what do you do when you have parents that try to bring you down or belittle you or take your energy or just don't want to see you doing good just make it hard for you to grow in life and what you need to do to break free from the restraints and constraints that they have on you well your mind they have on your mind because they don't have anything on you. But usually if you're a chosen one, you are the black sheep in your family. You have been through a lot of things in life, just a lot of uh, negative and a lot of trauma on your relatives, excuse me. But don't feel bad because that was a part of your purpose. That was a part of your plan, those people agreed to play those roles in your life to make you who you are today, to, to, to have you become the person you are today. Because no matter what you do, those people aren't going to like you. Those people aren't going to care for you. Those people aren't going to be there for you if they haven't already from the time you were a child to you were 18. What makes you think that anything's going to change after you turn 18? They're not. Nothing's going to change that. They have played their role to have you go through certain traumas in life for you to take your place as God, the universe, the higher powers, the higher consciousness vessel to help either move the world forward or keep the world stagnant because you have positive deities and entities out here and you have negative deities and entities out here. What you can do when you're experiencing just negative energy, manipulation energy, callous energy, malicious energy from either one of your parents or anybody around you in that matter of fact, is look at the title that you are giving them, that you are placing them over your life. Look at that title. You call them mom and dad, but are they actually mom and dad? Or are they actually just vessels? Everybody's just a vessel. That's the vessel God or the universe or the higher power, the higher consciousness, cosmic energies use to bring you into this world. Those two people, they're just the vessels. They're a person just like you are. And they have titles. And those titles happen to be mom and dad. But my saying goes, and this is how I got over feeling the way I felt for a long time when it came to wanting my mom and my dad in my life and wanting a bond and relationship with them. It's Titles are just titles. Those titles have to be earned in order to be valued and respected. If those titles aren't earned, if your mom don't treat you like a mom and y'all don't have that bond and y'all don't have that relationship and as a matter of fact, she does everything in her power to try to bring you down, to try to keep you mentally messed up, physically messed up, emotionally messed up, financially messed up, or try to belittle you or just play mental games with you all the time. She is not acting as a mom. She's not acting as a mother. She's not acting as your parent. So why are you giving her the title of mom? Why are you giving her the title of parent or mommy or mother? She don't get that title if she hasn't earned that title. She simply is her government name that your grandmother or grandma or whoever your grandmother is gave her. 
She simply is that name. Like my name is Tashana. I would simply be a Tashana. Hey, Tashana. Matter of fact, I will love you from a distance. I, of course, I wouldn't disrespect her and call her that to her face. But if I'm talking to somebody else about her, I would not say mom, my mom, my mommy, my mom, while I'm trying to heal. While I'm trying to heal, I wouldn't do that. Once I'm healed past that part of, okay, we're not going to have this bond. We're not going to have this relationship. I'm not going to have a mom like she has a mom or he has a mom or he has a mom. Once you understand that and you heal from that and you gain that knowledge, then when you're talking to somebody, you, you can say, yeah, I don't have a relationship with my mom. And it's not because of me, you know, it's because of she and she don't want to grow and she don't want to change and she don't want to be better, do better and feel better. She wants to stay stagnant. And she wants to try to bring me down to her level, stuff like that. Then you could, you could use the mom word or the mother word. But until you heal from that hurt, until you heal from wanting that attachment and wanting that bond and wanting that relationship and wanting the mother-daughter duo like most people have, until you heal from wanting that, you need to look at it for what it is, that it's just a title that you're placing on a person. Just the same as dad or father or daddy. If he has not earned that title, then it can't be valued. And if it can't be valued, you can't give somebody that title. You can't respect them as that title if they are not acting as that title. Because then you're expecting something from somebody. And we all know when you expect certain things from anybody, when you expect things, you hurt your own self in the process. Because you cannot expect things and think that it's going to happen the way you expect it to happen every single time. It's not. That's where you start to hurt yourself. That's where you start to put yourself down because you're expecting things. Yeah, I want a relationship with my mom. Yeah, I want a relationship with my dad. Yeah, I want a relationship with my grandmother. Yeah, I want a, I want a relationship with my grandfather. Yeah, I want a relationship with my uncle, my aunties my cousins, but if they don't act as those titles, those titles cannot be valued. And if they cannot be valued, they cannot be earned. A title has to be earned in order for it to be valued. And in order for a title to be valued, it has to be earned. Listen to me when I tell you this, it will help you in your healing process con concerning the vessels that brought you into this world. Because that hurts not having a dad. That hurts not having a mom like you want to have them in your life. But it's also heal love. It's also something you can heal from. Something that can no longer hurt you or have power over you if you don't let it. So know that we all are vessels. I'm just a vessel to my kids. But because I value being a mom, I've earned that title from them. And I know I've earned it because my kids be like, mommy, you want a back massage? Mom, you want a foot massage? Mom, I'll make your lunch for work. Mom, do you want some of this dinner that we're making? Like, my kids are amazing. They love me. They pour into me just like I pour into them. They don't just want me to pour into them. They pour back into me. And that's how I know they value me. When your kids try to pour into you, but a kid is going to do that regardless because they're going to love their mom and dad regardless. But it's when they grow up when you step into your purpose, if you're a chosen one, when you realize that they never meant you any good, but don't feel bad about that because it made you who you are today. 
They are playing the role that they are supposed to play in your life and their planet from the time that you were born. That That's their role to be distant, excuse me, to be distant, to be unloving, uncaring, to be unaffectionate. Like that's their role to show you everything that what not to be. So you can't be mad at them for just being a vessel because that was their role in the physical world. And now that you're a chosen one and you're in the spiritual world, you have a cosmic family. You have a energetic family. You have a family that you can't even see surrounding you. And you have like-minded human beings that will be attracted to you, that will be your soul family. But your cosmic family comes around and is guiding you and is there for you in spirit when you have to sacrifice and give up your physical family because they don't value their own titles. And because they don't value their titles, their titles haven't been earned. Anybody can have a baby. Anybody can be a mother. Anybody can be a mom. Anybody can have those titles. But do they act in those titles? Do they appreciate those titles? Do they value those titles? Because if they don't, you got to sever that attachment. You have to start by giving them the actual title that they are. In your head, when you're talking to yourself, when you say, I want a relationship with my mom. Don't say I want a relationship with my mom. Say, I want a relationship with Janice. Start calling them by their name in your head or when you're talking to yourself, when you're talking to other people. Use their government name. That's that's the title that they have, their government name. They're not a mom. Just because they pushed you out, that don't make them a mom. Just because he squirted his little stuff into your mama, that don't make him a father. That don't make him a dad. That don't make him a daddy. Titles have to be earned in order to be valued by us. So remember that. And lift yourself up and heal yourself. It took me a good, ooh, I want to say, ooh, all my life. Up until, it took me a good 23, 25, 25 years for me to finally get over understanding the role that my vessels played in my life. And one before the other, because... um. One was trying a little bit harder to keep the attachment, but still wasn't acting as the 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 t- the title that they wanted to have. So eventually, I had to learn to let it go and and cut cut those ties. Um, but it's better for my mental health and it's better for my my whole health. Period and. Um, it helps my kids thrive and it, it doesn't keep negativity flowing towards us. So I'm glad that I cut those attachments and I look at those titles for what they really are. And I don't expect nothing more and nothing less. So I hope y'all learned some valuable information today and you can heal yourself from those vessels and those expectations you place over yourself. And remember, A title is just a title. It has to be earned in order to be valued. So with that being said, I love y'all and I hope y'all have a very beautiful, blessed day.